How much coke and Mentos does it take to actually fly? I'm gonna answer that today and will not stop until I fly. It all started with this video. Three, two, one. Whoa! Test two. Whoa! Clearly it's fake, but I'm gonna do it for real. This will be taken way further than anyone asked for or should ever try, starting with one bottle. This is as textbook as it gets. Dude in a backyard with some coca mentos, you know? In a hazmat suit. That's America, baby. Oh, all right. Wow. That actually looked really uh, small. How are you supposed to fly with that? Oh, <laughs> then we're fucked. <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do. Along with the unimpressive reaction, how do you point a Coke bottle down like a rocket without everything spilling out while also adding Mentos? Luckily, the internet has all the answers we could ever want. Look, rocket, perfect, that's what we need. Oh, he's gonna burst yeah, it. Yeah, that's what you do, that's how you get it out, okay. Oh. The worst case is we lose the balloon in there I can't tie it off. No! Eventually, we got it set up with a spike on a spring to pop the balloon and start the reaction. I don't know what they're smoking, but that's clearly something different. The balloon actually makes it even worse somehow, because you lose all your carbonation. Everyone has like their own unique way of activating it. Look at these magnets. <laughs> that's kind of sick. Magnets and a cork. I, all right, I like that. I like that one. <laughs> the oh, and toilet. the toilet. Oh my <laughs> god. The secret seems to be the pressure. The whole reason Coke and Mentos works is the tiny divots on the Mentos release the carbonation in the Coke. The more of this carbonation you can trap and let build up, the bigger the reaction you'll get. Just look at the difference between this low pressure test. Oh, he did it towards me. Oh! oh and high pressure when we use tape to hold in the cork and cut it after the pressure builds. Yeah, oh God! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Perfect. There was some force behind it. I'll chalk that down to almost flew away. You get way more force. So, using this newly discovered hack, let's build a Coke and Mentos jetpack just like in the video. Obviously, I'm skeptical to say the least, especially because nobody's ever done anything like this successfully. Built a yeah. real jetpack. Built a real jetpack. Jet pack, Coke. Coke and Mentos. Do not try this at home because there's a huge risk of it going wrong. I'm about to try this at home. How's he gonna attach that He's to gonna... himself? <gasps> <gasps> what? <laughs> This boy no. got roasted. Oh so no. I don't want to be the guy that All right. does that. That was four bottles of Coke and it didn't work. So I'm going to use 10 bottles, six on the back and four on the feet to give this video the best possible chance of working. And who knows, we might actually learn something. How does that feel? Very like it's going to blow up. That's Rocket so boot. Good. What happens though if I fly out of frame? I'll get it on slow-mo. All right, I just want to make sure we're going to get it all. I'm right next to you while you do it. I hate being in it. Main thing, don't pull that cord. I'm really scared, All actually. Right. This is terrifying. I'm just pointing it. Right. I know, dude. I'm with you. I have two bombs dropped in my. Oh, God. yeah, rocket man. Oh so no. I don't want to be the guy that All right. does that. You, oh dude. God, one's about to go. Really? Oh. 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 Covered yeah, I, know. So oh, no. I don't want to be the guy. That All right. Does. I'm like so dry. How are you dry? <laughs> this is a familiar sight. Something pinky. All right, ready? Yeah. You rolling? Yeah. Three, two, one. Crazy. You good? Yeah, I'm good. It just kind of bonks me in the head a little bit. I feel like it shot up. Yeah. That's like what you think of when you think of a Coco Mentos jetpack, you know? Yeah. Did it work? No. Myth busted. Pretty obvious you can't fly with this setup, but we're definitely not stopping here. After doing more research into these viral Coke and Mentos projects, they all seem to be two things. They're either super weird. <laughs> what? What is that? Is How'd they, oh, they put her inside. Go, 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 get her in there. This one, I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out. Oh gosh. Close up and personal. Or they're just not Coke and Mentos. Oh, wait, it's sorry, just what? not Coke and Mentos. <laughs> what is this? Coke, fish tank. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's not Coke and Mentos. Coke and Mentos <laughs> this golf bottle of Coke is just C4. And they do like fun, like energetic music next to it too. Here's 
turns out, almost everything works better than Coke and Mentos. Like, this is just regular baking soda. Whoa! Already more than twice as good. And this is Coke and butane. You see, butane gas becomes liquid at around zero degrees. It's lighter than Coke, so it floats on top. But when you flip the bottle over, the cold butane and warmer Coke mix instantly, making the butane turn back to gas and releasing the CO2 from the Coke. Pro tip, microwave your Coke. What do you think, four minutes? Four minutes? <laughs> I don't know. Hot Coke means the butane won't freeze. Oh. Tell me if it tastes fizzy still. Mm -hmm. And the reaction will happen much faster. Shit. Yeah, that worked. That was crazy. We also tried to get creative with some sodium metal. Cut off a small mento sized piece, dropped it in. Let's see what happens. It's, um, I don't want to fly with that. Too many mentos in that one. But the most impressive reaction is the other super viral experiment elephant toothpaste. The special sauce is hydrogen peroxide, a liquid compound of hydrogen and oxygen. This is probably what most people do. Take almost all hydrogen peroxide, but just add a little bit of Coke for color, make it look like Coke, mix that all up. When you mix in an activator, it splits into gas and expands over a thousand times. Add in a little dish soap to catch the gas, and according to the internet, you've got a viral Coke and Mentos rocket. Oh, oh my God. Coke and Mentos. Coke and Mentos, baby. <laughs> that was way better. I actually did a bit more research into flying with this, and it turns out people actually have. Coincidentally, the very first jetpacks from the 60s were made using the same stuff. They called it the rocket belt, and those tanks on the back are actually filled with hydrogen peroxide. It's passed through the special silver screen that activates the peroxide, just like our liquid activator. When this happens, all that peroxide turns into gas, expands thousands of times in a split second, and causes enough lift for a person to actually fly. It's pretty incredible, actually. Also super dangerous. But this project's about Coke and Mentos. No other trickery, elephant toothpaste, clickbait bullshit. Is it possible to fly and make a cool video with actual Coke and Mentos? We're scaling things up now. We don't want to lose any carbonation, so that's why I'm using this. That way it'll fill up from the bottom and hopefully we'll keep almost all the carbonation. Mentos going in. The main issues we found with this is just scale. As you try and add more Coke and Mentos, you get more pressure, but you also add more weight. Clearly, it doesn't really help to just add more, but if we could harness just the thrust of the Coke and Mentos without the weight, then we're in business. So my new plan, get a giant bottle of Coke and connect it with a tube to a much smaller jetpack that I can wear. I'm imagining it kind of like those water jetpacks, but instead of being hooked to a jet ski, I'll be attached to a giant bottle of Coke and Mentos. Will it work? One way to find out. We gotta actually make a giant Coke bottle big enough to lift me. For that, I turned to the magic AI genie and asked how how do I how, how do I do this? And surprisingly, it came up with these calculations. This is all built right into the Opera browser, by the way, who are kind enough to sponsor this video. You can even select anything on the web and the AI Aria will give you an explanation on whatever you selected. It's also got a built-in free VPN, so when you're researching or browsing sites, you can protect your sensitive information if you're on public Wi-Fi, or maybe on some unfamiliar sites. And right down here, built-in one-click ad blocker. It's super convenient, but like, leave my ads on though, please. Over on the sidebar, you've got all your social media, messengers, music, whatever else for super quick access. It's also got a snapshot feature, wallpapers, a battery saver mode, and just tons more. Basically everything you want all in one place. So after some back and forth, the AI and I came up with some calculations that say if we get a 400 gallon tank, we should be able to fly for about 30 seconds if we can pressurize the bottle to about 50 PSI. Obviously there are a lot of other factors. The port size on the tank, port size on the jet, length of the hose, the, the diameter of the, the tank starts to empty. For now though, let's just focus on the bottle and go from there. Now we can just hop over from the Opera AI right into the browser to find this giant tank. And with just a few clicks, I have managed to exchange $4,000 for a 400 gallon tank. Yeesh. If you too want to make these genius business moves and have access to all these sweet features, use my link to download Opera today. Being delivered and it's an extremely large package and we don't have any real way of getting off the truck. Guy's like, did you order a nuke? Uh, I hope not. So let's see how this goes. Oh, how many pounds? 62? 762, Jesus. It does look like a nuke. Look, as long as it gets off the truck, man. Somehow it's good. 
Yeah. No wonder it's so heavy. Lean! With some finesse, we got it to the backyard and started transforming it into a high-tech soda flying machine. And now we have to stand it up. New plan. Maybe we can use our web shooters. Just shoot it, it sticks, and it can reel up automatically. It's got a magnet or suction cup so it'll stick to whatever you're shooting at, and it can even automatically reel in whatever you shoot at. And you can get yours now at the link below. It's super fun and makes you feel just like Spider-Man. Literally so loud, dude. I'm sorry, what do you- Can you do it any quieter? Still hear it. Finally, some finishing touches, and we've got ourselves the biggest bottle of Coke I've ever seen. Complete with a pressure gauge and extremely large pressure valve. Now we gotta make the jet pack. So we got ourselves a fire hose, some bent tubing, some handles, a seat, and some straps. Hopefully all this should take the Coke and blast it downward so I can fly. <laughs> That looks pretty sick though. We're gonna need a lot of Mentos and an absurd amount of Coke. Dude, this is nowhere near enough. So I got about a thousand kilos of this stuff. Mm. I think it's a lot, personally. It's the most Coke I've ever seen. Well, second most Coke. No turning back now. I also got about 10,000 of these little guys to hopefully release all the CO2 inside the Coke. And we get to unwrap them. Oh, what? Yeah! Come on! It'll be fun! You love time lapses, dude. <laughs> this is the type of thing you learn after doing a 10,000 piece. Come on, no looking, not even looking. Done. Damn, that was clean. Yes, that is 10,000 Mentos! So satisfying. The trick now is getting all that Coke and Mentos in the tank without losing the carbonation. That's the problem every time someone tries to make a giant bottle of Coke. It never works because all the carbonation's gone. Each two liter bottle has about 15 grams to start. My plan, once we transfer all the Coke into the big bottle, we can recarbonate the Coke to add back in the 15 grams of CO2. Just like how you make soda at home with a soda stream, just on a massive scale. A standard Coke bottle can be around 50 PSI, but now we can actually super carbonate the Coke if we need to give us a better chance. Let's first start though with regular carbonated water so we don't waste the coke. Here, drop one in. If this works, we can save a lot of money for testing. Oh, let's go! Filled the tank with soda, added the Mentos. Pressure gauge says a modest 20 PSI, and we loaded about 50 pounds onto the jetpack. Let's see what happens. Ready? Yeah. Dude. Slowly crack. Oh, it, wait, I don't... <laughs> Pressure. But I, now we know that. We'll just crank it up a little bit now. Got 50 PSI in the tank now. We also added a guide post to keep it stable without a pilot, just like the small scale. Hey, not going anywhere, baby. Not going anywhere. <laughs> you put the uh, the cap on the top, right? So it can't fly off. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just kill it if it starts going too high. Test two. Ready to blow this up? Uh, no, I'm kind of scared to be honest. All right, well, I'm gonna crank it, so. <laughs> it like just hit me that we're about to go. Still not working. Let's strip the weights and see if we can get any movement. Oh my god! Definitely some thrust, but I think we're losing a lot of power to the kink toes because it's too long. We are up to a little over 100 psi now. Shorten the hose. We'll see if that makes any changes. That was 50 pounds. That was cool. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it again. Let's do it. Oh! Oh God! Jesus. I think we had that uh, safety thing. Yeah. Broke it. Oh sh. See, that's what I don't want to do. For me. <laughs> I feel like it could lift way more than 50 pounds. This one. This is the this one. That's it. 120 PSI, shorter tube. How could it not work, right? 100 pounds though. <laughs> That's gonna be me.
just fixed that pipe. Oh, that was 100 pounds. That was light though for it. Light, dude. It I love just the swamp we instantly create. 150 pounds on the cola pack. Original taste. That's a person. Even shorter hose. Tube pre-filled. Tank leaking. Let's blow this. It lifted it. Of course it bent it over, but that's insane. That's so much power. Minus the crashing, of course. That was the best one yet. And of course, we've made our instant bubbly swamp. And for some reason, I keep wearing white ass shoes and bright pants. Stay out of my swamp. Clearly we've got enough power, but will it work with actual Coke and Mentos in the jetpack? That means actually putting all the Coke in the tank. Just like before, we're using a pipe that goes all the way to the bottom. Hopefully save as much carbonation as we can. First bottle. Uh, it's going pretty slow. Okay. It's going really slow. Yeah. It's gonna take a while, huh? Okay, we don't have that much. Fact. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't need that kind of <laughs> uh, This is gonna take a while. This is so dumb. We have established the technique. As you see, it goes really slowly. So we slice it, goes really fast, four seconds in and out. How long do you think you can sleep like this? <laughs> You can kind of make it work though. One more. Oh! So done with this. Yep. That'll do it. We recarbonated the Coke to get it back to normal, and now we gotta add the Mentos with a delay, so we'll have time to close the tank. He's ready to blow. Now it's my turn, and I am terrified. Well, I have flown jetpacks before, never one like this, powered by Coke and Mentos of all things. Also, as we've seen, I could get launched if we're not careful. And if the liquid runs low and gas gets in, it gets super hectic. With all that rushing through my mind, I strap myself in for the first test. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You want a countdown? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Not enough thrust. Dude, it was so brown. Dude, it feels like I just took the biggest piss. Like I pissed my pants so bad. So we added more carbonation, more Mentos, and tried again. This time I could actually feel the thrust of the Coke and Mentos wanting to lift me off the ground. We still need just a bit more power. More Coke, more Mentos, more pressure, and we came back out to try again. We're so close. I know it's possible, but there's just so many factors to think about. As we use up the coke, the pressure drops. So we really only have a small window to get airborne. But if we crank it too fast, I go flying uncontrollably. We have to nail the perfect pressure, the tank has to be opened at the perfect speed, and I have to aim the jetpack just right for it to work. Most importantly, I gotta stay calm and trust everything. Because if I freak out in the air, I will crash. Not to mention we're running out of coke fast. So it really is now or never. All right. How do you feel? I feel great, man. 
I feel like I smell great too. <laughs> it actually worked. We're flying with only Coke and Mentos. I'm pretty confident I'm the only person to ever do that. The goal from the start was to make this video for real, and I'd say that's as close as you can get. For all the kids and people with real jobs out there who've ever dropped a Mento and some Coke and wondered, could I actually fly with this stuff? Yes, yes you can. And that's how you do it.